So this is a fun project. The belt turned out great. I got it from a great deal. The PAL lever was from on a discount from Pioneer. It was like in the scratch and de dent section called the discount PAL lever. I got it for $45.95 versus $65, I believe. And if you use code BASEMENT for Basement Brandon, you get 10% off and you support his channel. The Stoic belt I originally bought for $60. So it was $105 plus a few dollars in shipping. So it was $108 total for a lever belt. Coolest thing about this belt is if you're losing weight, you can adjust this thing in half inch increments versus one inch increments. Or if you start a set or workout with a hoodie on, you take the hoodie off, you probably lose a half inch in your waist. You get that belt to still fit perfect because you have half inch increments versus one inch. Um, about sizing this belt, you need a certain amount of overhang so that means the non-buckle end, the end where all the holes at the prong of the belt goes into, that has to be long enough for the belt to tuck in under itself. And just for reference, the Stoic belt that I bought was a size extra large, and my waist at the narrowest part was a little less than 36 inches when I made this belt. So you, And then in the picture I show later, you need a certain amount of overhang because this a lever belt has to tuck in underneath itself so it's not pinching. You need a certain amount of overhang for it to be comfortable. So I just want to say this 10 millimeter stoic belt was great. I've had it for three and a half years. The only reason I'm upgrading it is because I was running out of belt holes. I've been losing weight. I had cut a few more belt holes um, and I was thinking about getting the, trying to stagger them to see like the pioneer fit belt and how you can do half inch increments with that with a prong. Um, and I looked at this lever, thought I could update my belt turn into a lever belt, turned out great. So if you decide to do this project too, good luck to you and do it at your own risk. I'm not responsible. If you use a power saw, you're probably gonna cut off your own hands. You're probably gonna die and you're never gonna be able to lift again. You can't squat without hands. Well, you kinda can, you can do a belt squat. But uh, you're probably gonna cut off your legs too with that saw, so do it at your own risk. And the drill, I mean, it's definitely gonna go in your eyes. Uh, but, so did, wear safety glasses and a, a helmet, a space suit, and, and a COVID-19 mask. A surgical mask for sure. Wear one of those just to be safe. <coughs> All right. Thanks for the guys. Like the video. Use code basement to support basement. Brandon, he needs to get out of that basement. He needs all the help he can get.